And we back. It's Vach Lombardi. We made a free agent move. I'm kind of film guy, so let's do the obligatory film session for our free agent move. We uh, got Gerald McCoy, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer, former Carolina Panther. He is a Dallas Cowboy now, and I just kind of wanted to address the vibes a little bit. I saw some excitement. I saw some anguish, okay? But let's just kind of get into a handful of things that I did notice about Malik Collins versus Gerald McCoy kind of that way i want to talk about what we had what we got now and um of course we're gonna look at some film so let's do this first thing i wanted to do was pull up some numbers and mind you i hate numbers i'm not stat guy but i just kind of wanted to look at a few stats just to kind of give us an idea of what to look for when we go into film and the first thing i did was i pulled up game logs from both these gentlemen and one thing i noticed was malik collis had 20 tackles Gerald McCoy had 37. Okay, cool. That means Gerald McCoy is probably a little more active in the run game. He has a few more tackles for loss. We'll cross that road when we, you know, when we get back into the film. Um, but we did improve stat-wise there in terms of Gerald McCoy. Uh, what about sacks? Malik Collins isn't considered a sack guy. Um, he is a guy that got us a handful of sacks for. Uh, Gerald McCoy got five. Of course. Football math really doesn't work in that way, but it's just a handful of things to look forward to before we get into some film. Another number that I noticed I, I thought was kind of interesting was uh, Gerald McCoy's right there. Gerald McCoy's pass deflection number, right? Two ain't like game breaking, but two is more than zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this ain't me, you know, crapping on Malik Collins or nothing like that but you know I just got to talk people off the ledge sometimes and you know you can be expecting one thing but hey you know if we even out or got a little bit better than what we had in Malik then sure that can give you some positive vibes about um you know about the free agent acquisition but let's get into a little bit of film all right, so let's get into some film. And it seems like the film that I've watched so far, it, it, it checks out with what I saw on the stat sheet. Gerald McCoy is going to be more so of a run-stopping guy, right? And to be fair, like, you may not get, like, big pass rush numbers or stat production from Gerald McCoy, you know. But, hey, man, when it's time for those clear pass rushing downs, man, put another three-take in there. Put one of your bigger defensive ends at three-take. Let him be a, be a, be a, be a faster rusher from the inside. Or something like that. You ain't got to have Gerald McCoy out there every single time. He could be a part of a of a greater rotation. Uh, we got Gerald McCoy here at one tech, and I thought that was interesting, right? I do think he's going to be a full-time three tech for us for the most part. But I saw him at three tech, one tech. I even saw him at uh, defensive end, five, uh, uh, just, you know, a handful of plays or whatever. So I, I do think that's interesting. I do think that's something we'll be able to use. But Gerald McCoy is going to be this one tech here uh, in a gap to the left, right here uh, to the left of the center. And basically, this is what you get from Gerald McCoy and this is something that is very useful especially if you can get it for cheap I don't know what the exact number is but I'm assuming that if we wasn't gonna pay Malik who is younger if we wasn't gonna uh, pay Malik and we are paying Gerald um I'm assuming that the price tag wasn't too high and that Gerald would be featured in a rotation of some sort. So I tell you what, man, the biggest games that Cowboy fans kind of pissed off about is, um, you know, when when teams would just run all over us, man, when Aaron Jones would just kind of get four touchdowns in the game, when um, David Montgomery with the Bears would just run down our throats, man. We, we can't have those games anymore. So... I don't mind us looking for defensive tackles that are going to stop the run. And when it's time to go up against the pass, we'll kind of smash some ass on the pass too. All right. Uh, what else we got? Once again, Gerald McCoy, he's going to be, he's in three tech. He's in a B gap right now. And I think that's where he's mostly uh, going to find his home at. He's going to mostly line up in that B gap. And once again, boom, boom, boom. Watch this. Watch this. He's 93. He's right here. Check out my mouse. He's going to come off the ball. Right, he's gonna establish those hands. I really like how he established those hands. Get some inside, he's gonna drop his pad love a little bit, and then he's going to find the running back. He's right there. Cool, let's go with them together, my guy. <laughs> let's pick up the guard. Let's just head on over there and see what Buddy's talking about. Get a good tackle on the running back, man. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. And when you look at a uh, at a three text tackle number. Let me go back here. When you look at a three text tackle number, uh, that's where it comes from. It, that mostly comes from these run plays, these these uh, tackles for losses or whatnot. So I'm glad that Gerald McCoy has 17 more of those than Malik Collins. It kind of go up a little bit. Um, here's Gerald McCoy getting some action at one tech right here. 
same game, right? And this is all run real. We'll uh, get into uh, get into some past stuff later. But um, this center is going to down block on Gerald McCoy. Gerald McCoy is going to do the appropriate technique. He's going to boom, 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 hands, extend, find the ball. Uh, the the right technique is to come over the cross, uh, to come across the face of the down block. But hey, man, if you can slip under the down block, hey, do your thing, <laughs> do your thing, young Gerald. I ain't mad at you at all, man. I ain't mad at you at all. So I think, um, what was I about to say? Yes, I think if you have a role, that's the key word here. If you got a clear, defined role for young Gerald McCoy and you don't bring it, <laughs> young Gerald McCoy, for old man Gerald McCoy, Papa Gerald McCoy, if you have a clear role for him, I think you, uh, you're you you're going to have a good fan to player relationship with him. Don't bring him in thinking that he's Aaron Donald. Oh, he's Gerald McCoy, the same dude that played at Oklahoma uh, 12 years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like We're saved. Let's not think that. Let's consider him as an older piece that's going to be a rotational piece that's going to come in and do one specific job that we're going to ask him to do. And I know, I know I'm showing highlights now. I'm just kind of talking through what he does, you know, what he does well. Um, but don't get fooled. He's still an old man, and he only had 37 uh, tackles and, like, five sacks. He ain't Aaron Donald. But I think he's good at what he does. I showed this play here to kind of, hey, he got double team right here. Boom. He's going to stand his ground. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Same thing. So I thought this was hilarious. Uh, last year, Gerald McCoy had a whopping five sacks, okay? And two and a half of them came up against Jameis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, so maybe he's one of those get hype for a revenge game guys. So over the next three years, if we're playing Tampa Bay or if we're playing Carolina, then Gerald McCoy is going to turn into Aaron Donald. Right. But until then, you're going to get a guy that's pretty cool at pass rushing. Right. Take a look at him. He's at the left uh, defensive end right here. And that gives you another idea of his position flex Him being able to move around. We saw him at one, one and three. We see him at five here. He's going <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he's going to get a cold little slap move right here. A little, little jet slap right there. Something quick, something easy. Didn't have to set it up too, too much. Getting up field with the outside move, a little slap to the shoulder, and <laughs> getting Matt Ryan on the ground. Um, before I, you know, run this uh, run this player here, man, it, it, that was something that really bothered me last year. We all saw that stat where Robert Quinn and Demarcus Lawrence were the most double team defensive ends in the National Football League. Both their asses was on our team. So I would like for my three tech to be more dominant in that one on one, you know, uh, scenario. Especially if my one tech is going to be doing, you know, one tech things against centers and guards, right? So I don't know if Jerry McCoy is going to be the final answer. For three tech, I know he started 16 games with, with Carolina or whatnot, but I mean, if he was a rotational guy for us, I'd feel a little better. But I would like a gangster that could take up these one on one blocks. But um, like I said, man, he's not going to be a super duper pass rush dude. But if he's playing against Jameis Winston and a, and a former team of his, he's, he's, he's Aaron Donald. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take a look at him. Take a look at him uh, versus, uh, ooh, wee, versus uh, Tampa Bay right here. He's right here in uh, B Gap. Number 93 right here. He's going to come off the ball, get a little push, boom, boom, boom. Get your blocker for James' ass off me, boy. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Get your hands off me, dog. What's wrong with you? Oh, man. And he did this all game. He's going to get another sack versus James. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> insane he's gonna get another one and 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 like i said man two two and a half sacks man that like gerald didn't even do that again he didn't even sniff that for the rest of the year but uh it, it is what it is man like i said we're gonna bring him in for a for a particular role he's not gonna come in and uh ask to be a pass rusher or something like that man you know he, he he's gonna come in stop the run like i think he's really good at and man we're gonna put some package together to where one of our guys that normally plays defensive end is gonna come in and play three tech and be a little quicker and something else I found interesting too, man. Just a handful of plays, man. Was the uh, the the batted passes, right? You can always find here we go. You can always find room to add a handful more uh, of batted passes in your arsenal. There's one there, and uh, we got another right here. Didn't want to talk on it too much, but it was something that I noticed last year. We didn't get any from the three tech spot, or at least we didn't get any from Malik Collins. But we got them from Gerald McCoy. So, yeah, man, quick little summary by Gerald McCoy. Don't lose your mind. Don't lose your mind just yet because I do think there are going to be some other people uh, that the Cowboys are going to sign to kind of mix this thing up. Of course, we need a pool of about eight guys. We got Gerald McCoy, Tyrone Crawford, um, a couple of the young bucks, you know, like Dorrance and uh, Joe Jackson's in there somewhere. 
uh, D Law, Tristan Hill, Antoine Woods. So, you know, we just kind of need a handful of more guys to make that room, uh, you know, just to bolster it up a little bit, to make it a little more impressive, a little more fantastic. And I think, uh, I don't think we're done at D line. I think we can sign a few more guys. Hey, and, and don't, don't let the go, uh, Randy Gregory come back because that'll be another. Uh, that'll be another addition to this D line. So this was our first free agent move, man. Just be aware of what you're getting into. Just don't lie to yourself. Let's have a good relationship with with uh, Gerald McCoy. Don't ask him to come in and be fantastic. Uh, is he going to come in and be Malik Collins? He'll probably be along what Malik Collins was, if not better. And if we get better, then that is improvement. Long as we ain't going backwards, you know. Um, but hey man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Uh I'm I'm gonna get back into the draft videos at some point. Just free agency hot. It's on fire. So I just need y'all to kind of bear with me. But we're gonna get back into the work. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski and the Peaski Whiskey, man. Salute. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.